Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you. We're looking at the history of revivals, we're looking at Brainard's revival. After some years of difficult and almost fruitlessness work among the North American Indians, David Brainard saw a powerful revival commence in July 1745. It was an answer to agonizing prayer. Bernard, Bernard wrote July 26. In the evening God was pleased to help me in prayer beyond what I have experienced for some time. My soul was especially drawn out for the enlargement of Christ's kingdom and for the conversion of my poor people, and I relied on God for the accomplishment of that great work. My soul, my very soul, longed for the ingathering of the poor heathen, and I cried to God for them most willingly and heartily, and yet because I could not bear it but cry, I longed that remembering part of my life might be filled up with the more fervency and activity in things of God. August the 2nd, in the evening I retired and my soul was drawn out in prayer to God, especially for my poor people to whom I had sent word that they might gather together that I might preach to them the next day. I was much enlarged in prayer for the saving conversation and I scarcely ever found, sorry, saving conversion. I was much enlarged in praying for the saving conversion and scarcely ever found my desires for anything of this nature so sensibly and clearly disinterested and free from selfish views. It seemed to me I had no care or hardly any desire to be instrument of so glorious work as I wished and prayed for among the Indians if the blessed work might be accomplished to the honour of God and the enlargement of the dear Redeemer's kingdom. And this was all my desire and care for this mercy I hoped but with trembling. My rising hopes in respecting the conversion of the Indians have been so often dashed that my spirit as it were broken and courage wasted, and I hardly dare hope. August 3rd, having visited the Indians in these parts in June last, and tarried with them some considerable time, preaching almost daily, I now found them serious, and a number of them under deep concern for an interest in Christ. I preach to them this day, whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. I just, I'll start again. God bless you.